hello guys and welcome back so in the previous videos we created the player movement as you can see we also have added the jump and the gravity to our player as you can see our player comes back to the ground and we can also move around in the environment now the only thing that is missing from the player movement is the sprinting or you can say running so when we press, press the w and shift but and you get the left shift button at the same time then we want the player to run or you can say sprint so in order to add sprinting right here at the top in the player movement we will create a public float and this time we will name this as player sprint this will be equals to 3f then after the jump function let's add a sprint function and now we need to add the sprint button so in the unity if we click on edit project settings input manager and right here we have this fire 3 button which is set to mouse 2 and left shift so let's change its name to sprint I don't know why I made the first two letters capital okay we want to sprint on the left shift button and let's remove this positive button because we only want to run on the left shift button okay that's it Now we have the sprint button set up let's close this and right here we will say if input dot get button and if we press the sprint button and also the w button at the same time so we will say input dot get key and the key code w okay so if we press these two button at the same time or if we press the F arrow key as well okay and also if we are on the surface then what we want to do we want to run and also we want to run on the left right direction okay and also we want to run to that point where our main camera is aiming so we already did that right here when we are moving the player or you can see when we add the walking okay so now adding sprint is fairly simple let's copy all of this code inside the player move and in here let's just simply paste it these two lines will be the same this one too and the if condition as well the only thing which we will be changing is this one right here we will call the player sprint variable okay and that is it for the sprint now let's just save this get back to unity okay you can notice the player speed and the player sprint now we are simply playing game and now we are when we press the w button as you can see we can walk but if we now press and actually hold down the shift button it won't run because we forgot to call this function right here in the update so make sure that you call this print function in the update or else this function will not be called every frame now save it get back to unity again let's play the game and now once again if you walk as you can see the player is walking now if you hold down the left shift button as you can see now the player is running as you will notice we can now run okay and we can't jump right here because this area is not on the surface layer okay as you can notice right here 
so that's why you can't jump you can actually change this uh, bridge layer to the surface and then the player will be able to jump on this area as well okay so now as you can see you can run around here and there and our player movement is completed now the next thing which we will be adding is the animation because right here like this our game looks ugly as you can see our player will just move in this direction it looks like some kind of a bird as you can see so we need to add animations to our player but that is for the next video so catch you guys in the next one